You want to be a Python backend web developer? In this video, I'm going to take you from writing your first Hello World program to building full-blown web applications using Python. Before we get into the video, let's talk about the sponsor of this video. What if you could build and deploy AI models quickly at a fraction of the cost? And imagine being able to develop on serverless GPU as if you are coding on your own computer. Cerebrium allows you to do that. It is a platform that allows you to build and deploy AI models up to 70% cheaper than AWS or Vertex AI. With Cerebrium, you can choose between deploying any custom Python code or deploy pre-built models such as Dreamboot or Stable Diffusion with one click. And don't worry if you are new to AI. Cerebrium offers an easy-to-use documentation, including walkthrough videos, and a support team available on Discord and also Slack. And they also have a live chat system on their website, as you can see right here, where you could ask questions and get a response quickly. They have code start times of less than one second, and apps are live in a minute after deployment and in seconds every time you make changes to your code. Cerebrium offers a free trial with a $10 credit, so you can try it out for yourself and see the results. So you can join the machine learning engineers and data scientists already using Cerebrium from companies such as WriteSonic, Twilio, MindsDB and many more. There will be a link to the website in the description below. And thanks to Cerebrium for sponsoring this video and let's get back into this video. The first thing we need to do is to learn Python. This is an important step in the roadmap because you need to first learn the basics of Python and this is going to give you a solid foundation in the language and help you understand how you can apply the concepts you are learning to real world problems. So to get started, you want to learn the basics of Python such as variables, data types, control flows and functions, and even OOP. Once you've got that handled on the basics, then you can move forward to you know learning more advanced concepts like decorators and so on. Once you know Python, after learning all the basics and all the stuff you need, I would advise you to build projects with the skills that you've learned. Now you can practice building just basic Python programs like a calculator, building a simple web scraper and more. And once you're very confident in that, the next thing I'm going to tell you to do, this is quite optional, but I would advise you to learn a little bit of front-end skills. And this is because whenever you're building full-blown web applications, you still want to have, you know, some front-end skills so that you're able to design your own website yourself. As I said, this is optional. You could be working on a project with someone else in your team and let say that person you know, specializes on front-end and you are just a back-end web developer. But I would advise you to learn a little bit of front-end such as HTML and CSS, even though what you want to learn is back-end, but having, you know, an understanding of HTML and CSS to build your own web applications yourself is going to be an added advantage. So as you've learned the basics of Python and front-end web development, it's time to move on to learning a web framework. So the two popular choices for Python are Django and Flask. So Django is a high-level, full-featured framework that makes it easy to build and deploy web applications. So it's particularly well suited for large and well complex applications. While Flask on the other hand is a lightweight framework and it gives you more control over your components of your web application. It's quite great for beginners and from small to medium sized projects and beginners as I said who wants to control the application more. Of course there are also other options out there, there's Cherry Pie, there's plenty other options that you can pick. Personally, when I was learning, I went with Django just because that's what I saw online. But you could pick any other one you want to learn. You could learn Flask, any other thing. But my advice is, as a beginner, I would advise you to learn Flask first as it is easier to learn. And once you have you know, a good knowledge of Flask, then you can move on to Django. So once you've learned a framework, the next thing I'll advise you to learn is to learn APIs. Now, APIs stand for Application Program Interface. And it's like a set of rules and protocols that allows different pieces of software to communicate with one another. So as a backend developer, you need to know how to create and consume APIs. So you need to learn about REST API and you know learn about the HTTP request method like GET, POST, PUT, DELETE and how to use them. You also need to learn about different types of data that can be sent and received in an API request and response. But that is going to be seen whenever you're actually learning about APIs, you're going to know all of that in details. So once you're pretty confident with using APIs, then you should go on to learn SQL and databases in general. So 
the next step as i said is to learn sql and you you know learn how to use it to interact with python so this means like learning the basis of sql and using different libraries like sql lite sql alchemy to interact with databases in your python code so you need to learn how to do basic stuff like create tables insert update select and delete data from your database now once you've known all of this you've pretty much have um by now you should have built various projects you should have a good knowledge of programming and the back-end web development field but another advantage also is to learn version control so i would personally say you should learn version control and this is the final step in the roadmap and it's about learning version control and deployment in general so this means understanding how to use tools like git to keep track of your code and its changes and also understanding how to use it to deploy your application so that is going to be the end of this particular video one more thing i'll say and this is a bonus step is to learn javascript now you don't need this because the title of this video says python backend web developer but because we're still dealing with web development javascript is an added advantage you're still gonna you know use javascript for some stuff like you know ajax i'm gonna give one example so for example let's say you're creating a social media page and you want to be able to like a post without having to refresh the page or you want to do some stuff where you don't have to refresh a page be before communicating to the database that's very good you know use usage of javascript of where you can use ajax so just having a basic knowledge of javascript you don't have to like learn every single thing in javascript just having a basic knowledge of javascript is also going to be an added advantage to your tech stack so i hope you understood everything we talked about in this video i hope it helped in any way and if it did please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one